Hey everybody, Viking Wizard back at you with another latest haul. I've got seven CDs and a load of merch to show you. Can't wait to show you what I've got. Um, I just had a CD turn up today, which I'll show you in a moment. But super excited to get into all of these unboxing videos and play them. A couple of them I have listened to already. And this one I've not listened is one of the ones I haven't listened to yet. But I'll get into the ones that I've actually listened to. But I've not played this one yet. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm going in blind with the album. I've done a few unboxing videos on their YouTube channel. I just thought I'm going to wait for the albums to come out. And so I can listen to it physically rather than um, digital. Until it came out. I thought I want to wait. This one's US, a US metal band. Edge of Paradise. With their new studio album Hologram. This is their fifth studio album. They were formed way back in 2011. But um. They're more symphonic metal, but they've got a mixture of hard rock and um, industrial heavy metal. So a bit of everything in there, but um, mainly symphonic metal. Absolutely awesome band. Never seen these live. I'd love to see them. I believe I haven't seen them live, so I'm going to have to go through my list of bands I've seen. I've seen that many bands. I forgot which bands I've seen, but I'm pretty sure I haven't seen these live. If I have, then that's cool, but don't believe I've seen them. Would love to. Then this second one, I've actually listened to this album, but this is one of the ones that my good friend Martin White sent me. And this one's Temperance with their second studio album, which was released in 2015, Limitless. I've actually played this album on Teen Times. This one is the, is it, said? yeah, it's the 2015, because I don't know if they've reused them. Um, but um, yeah, Italian melodic power metal. I seen these in Wolverhampton, they were backing the one and only Taya Tarunen with her solo stuff and these were incredible live. I do want to see these live again so hopefully they come to the UK. I'd love to see Temperance at Power Metal Crush Fest because that would be awesome having them there. Then we have Australian Power Metal Band, Night nice Legion with their second studio album, Fight or Fall, formed way back in 2016. Um, second studio album 2017 was Night Legion which was their debut album which I thought was awesome I actually pre-ordered this and I was like oh um, and I thought it was a new band coming out and then when I um, was waiting for it to turn up I went and had a look and did a bit of research put them on my laptop and then I realised that the first studio album the debut Night Legion I have that in my collection and I completely forgot about them so I Dig that out and I gave that more of a listen and I thought I remembered it. It was a great album. I just for some reason I just forgot about the band and I've been playing it. But this one I've not heard enough of it yet, so I'm going in blind with this. So I really cannot wait. But um, yeah, can't wait to get into this. Going in fully blind, so I'm excited. So I'll be getting an unboxing video done on that. Then we have German happy metal or power metal for my back in 1998. This one is the Metal Fest by the one and only Freedom Call. I've seen these twice. I've seen them in London and Canuck and they were absolutely incredible. Um, it was London, start of the year, I think. It, no, it was November last year I'd seen them. And there was, it was this tour for the album Metal. Absolutely fantastic. This is a live album and then you get a DVD, is it? Or Blu-ray? I believe it's a DVD and you get the full, a full gig. Which is absolutely awesome. But the thing is, the live album has got more live songs than the DVD. So I'm not sure why they've cut some off the DVD. It's usually the CD where they cut a few tracks off. But then there's Warriors of the Caribbean, the movie. So I'm really excited to watch a, another movie and get a bit more knowledge on this band. And see backstage footage and stuff. So I'm super excited for this. I cannot wait. I'm really excited to unbox this one. Then we have, this one was off my good friend Martin White. They're called Valley's Eve. This one's Deception of Pain. German prog metal formed way back in 1992. It said it. They were, this was released way back in 2002, which is their third album. But then I did look into it and it said after this one, it just says um, on hold and it's just been on hold since. So I'm not sure if the band split up or gone or nothing like that. We didn't have a clue, but... um. Artwork piqued my interest and I thought, ooh, another band. Because I love when friends like say they send me a birthday gift or something. I love it when they send me stuff like this of bands I've never heard of because I love discovering new bands. 
so I love checking ones out so I do really appreciate that Martin so I'll be definitely giving that one a spin and I'm super excited and I do like my prog metal um I think it's awesome but I also love my prog power I'm actually wearing a prog power shirt at the moment power maze or power maze depending how you want to um, pronounce it um Dutch prog power then this next one is front row warrior this one is wheel of fortune which is a brand new debut studio album um it says a German traditional slash metal slash AOR, so we've got a bit, bit of everything in there. Um, founded in 2019, I tried to look to see if I could look on Metal Archives and it didn't say much, so I went on a couple of websites that have been reviewing this album and I just gathered a bit of info from what it says on there. So I can't wait to get into this and I have listened to a couple of tracks off this because um, it came up and I thought for pre-order and then it came up on YouTube and I thought I'd give it a listen before I actually continue with the pre-order. And I thought I like what I hear so I can't wait to actually fully unbox this. Give this one a listen and add it to my collection. Then this last one. This is the Dutch Pog Power which I'm actually wearing a hoodie at the moment. For my back in 2001. This is their seventh studio album. Um, which is Pyro Maze and the album's Bloodline. I... Bloodlines, I absolutely cannot wait to unbox this. I've been super eager for this album. I've not listened to nothing yet. I thought I'm going to go in blind with this album, but I'm really excited. Their last album was Epitaph, and that album was a masterpiece of an album released in 2020, which um, I've actually got the album here on vinyl. I do have it on CD, but I've also got it on vinyl. This one's purple coloured vinyl. I do want to get a copy of this on vinyl, but when I it came up for pre-order the CD and the vinyl, pre-ordered the CD, I think it was like 11, 12 quid. The vinyl was near on £50 for standard black vinyl, and I thought, ouch, it's a little bit out of my price range because vinyl is silly money at the moment. I'm not sure why, but it's why I've been buying a load more CDs and I haven't bought as much vinyl purely because of the price and when I get it at the right price, say for like £30 or less, I will pick up a copy and add it to my collection. But I'm super excited for this. I know a few friends on Facebook. I've got three friends that um, I've said they've got this album. They're going to listen to it and hope they enjoy it. And I really can't wait to enjoy it. I'm just missing Immortal, which is, um, I believe that was their second, was that second or third studio album? I'm missing that one on CD and then I'll have their back catalogue on CD. And on vinyl, I'm missing a few, but I know a couple of albums I've been told are not available on vinyl, but I've got the ones that are available. Um, Legend of the Bone Carver, which is a fantastic album, and obviously Epitaph. And then um, it was a Contingency or something like that I've got on vinyl. And a few things off here, a few merch off my good friend Martin. Um, I don't know this, Roger Staffelback, The Quest. Um, I don't know if it's a sticker or a promo card I know nothing about that so just from the artwork I'm like whoa that does really probably remind me of like Prog Power or Symphonic so that's something that I made a note and I'm going to go and find their stuff and give them a listen on YouTube to see if they're actually worth getting their stuff then this one is Wonders Beyond the Mirage I don't know nothing about that, but another one, that look at that artwork. That already is something I know I'd probably enjoy, so I'm going to definitely get a copy of that and give that one a listen. Then we have Brydain, The Gates of Aramore. I have actually done a YouTube video on this, an unboxing video on my YouTube channel. It is a fantastic album. You love your power metal, highly recommend giving this a go. Um, I've not been able to stop playing it. I wouldn't mind getting a copy on vinyl, so hopefully it's available on vinyl somewhere. But cheers for that, Martin. I love this promo flyer. And the last promo flyer is um, Symphonity, Marco Polo, the metal soundtrack. The album's absolutely incredible. I've seen them at the last Power Metal Quest Fest. They was frigging awesome live, so um, cheers for that. I'm happy to get that on my, in my collection, some more flyers. I love stuff like that. Once I've got enough flyers, I'll probably get a um, frame and probably frame them all and put them in a big frame. Then we have, these are cool, which I thought was cool, two Avaland pin badges. I think their album is absolutely fantastic. Their current studio album. And I didn't even know those pin badges or anything like that available. But um, 
Avaland the Metal Opera sticker. Then there is a Avaland patch. I didn't even know there was a patch, so that one's going on my Power Symphonic um, jacket. I've just got to figure out which one because I'm doing Power Symphonic stuff, so that's definitely going to go on there. And then there's a sticker which is Plastic Head Mega Saw, which is stuff like music, merch, and more. PlasticHead.com. I've actually been on there if anybody wants to check it out. They do patches, um, pin badges, t shirts, hoodies, all merch for metal, and I've seen CDs, vinyl, and everything. And it's a great website, so I'll be ordering some stuff off there at some point. So, yeah, that's my um, latest haul. Quite a few things there, so I'm definitely going to be unboxing all them CDs other than the Valley's Eve because it's a promo and it's already open. But, um, does the CD actually say promo on the CD? Um, no, but that's awesome, as you can see. So I'm super excited to give that one a listen and I'll probably do a review on it once I've listened to it like several times. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed this um, video. If you're new to this channel, if you want to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, all of that sort of good stuff. It's mainly unboxing videos I do, but then um, I do talk about the bands I love, latest haul, gig reviews, album reviews, um, tattoos, that's my, oh, ignore Bill of the Paint, just been at work all day, but there's my I'm on a Math tattoo, and I'm getting one in September, I'm booking my next one tattoo. I'm thinking about something like, say, Sabaton or Gamma Ray or something for my Power Symphonic leg. So, yeah, hope you all enjoyed this um, video on my latest haul. I'll catch you in the next one. So, Viking Wizards signing off and see you later.